Filmmaking is not for the faint of heart or the shallow of pocket. After all, busting blocks at the box office doesn't come cheap. Movies that are specifically made for the big screen tend to have the most astronomical budgets. They're not necessarily the best ever made, and it seems sometimes the quality is inversely proportional to its actual worth. But chances are you've seen at least half of the movies in this video in the theater. Adjusting for inflation, here are the top 10 most expensive movies ever made. Number 10. Titanic – $200 million The cost to construct the Titanic set was somewhere between $120 to $150 million, in 1997 dollars. For that amount of money, you might feel ripped off with anything less than the ship of dreams. Remember that grand staircase scene where the water comes crashing in as Rose and Jack try to escape? It only had one shot because the set and furnishings were so hugely expensive to produce, there was no room for error. And then there were the reams of other convincing special effects. In one apparently uninterrupted shot, we saw the ship from bow to stern, with flags flying and smoke coiling from its stacks, and on the deck, hundreds of passengers strolling, children running, servants serving, and so on. And it paid off. Titanic made its huge production costs part of its marketing campaign promoting the rich value of the movie like none other at the box office. It went down swimmingly. Whoops! Pun intended. Despite its over $200 million price tag, Roger Ebert described the film as value for money. Every cent of that budget spent on production flickers on the screen. Number 9. King Kong 207 million dollars. No stranger to behemoth budgets, thanks to Lord of the Rings, Jackson's lavish take on the 30s classic initially had a budget of 150 million dollars, but it climbed higher and higher. Most of the money was spent on Kong himself. What's more, King Kong gradually became substantially longer than Universal had anticipated and the extra length, mostly due to special effects needed for a convincing 25-foot computer-animated gorilla, increased the budget by a third. The film, given its longer length, was a cinematic risk, requiring the studio to reach for the kind of long-term audience that made hits out of three-hour movies like Jackson's Rings trilogy. Long movies receive far fewer showings per day, and therefore, for King Kong to break even at the box office, it was imperative that the film did well. Luckily, when it was released in 2005, the movie made a total of $550 million, becoming the fourth highest film on gross revenue in the Universal Pictures history and the special effects really were fantastic. Number 8. Avatar – $237 million It's a well-known fact that movie studios like being creative with their accountancy to limit the amount of tax they have to pay. The bigger the costs, the lower the tax bill. Avatar was no different. After a directoral run-up lasting 12 years, Cameroon took an almighty leap into the third dimension with his digitally created new world, hiring Vita for special effects and using super sleek 3D, which took the medium of cinema to the next level. No surprise then that this movie didn't come cheap. 90 hours went into the production of every single frame for the movie, of which there were a whopping 24 per second, creating cutting-edge CGI like none had ever seen before. Let's not forget the fact that creating a new language and teaching it to over a hundred actors 
hiring big names and fantastic, well-established scriptwriters and producing the technology for 3D glasses added to the early huge production costs. And to think that we once hyperventilated with astonishment at the realness of Jurassic Park's dinosaurs. Tears to my eyes. Number 7. Spider-Man 3 $258 million When Spider-Man was released in 2002, it almost single-handedly laid the groundwork for the current superhero boom. But then, they just started throwing money at the franchise and unfortunately, making expensive, flagship superhero sequels is no small or simple feat. Production for the movie dragged on into late summer, where it had been scheduled to conclude in June, pushing up the costs dramatically. On top of that, there was the huge cost of CGI, the web-slinging set pieces, the star salaries and, of course, the marketing and promotion campaign costs. After Spidey 2 had a hard time convincing fans that an aging arachnid fan was still living in a single bedsit and popping round to his Aunt May's house for some home cooking before climbing into the old red-blue spandex for the evening, the studio probably didn't have much of a choice on the whopping marketing budget. And unfortunately, despite Spider-Man 2 costing $250 plus million dollars to produce and Spider-Man 3 even more, the critical reception didn't pay off. Number 6. John Carter – $264 million Adapted from a novel by Tarzan creator Edgar Rice Burroughs, John Carter was a big swing of a blockbuster from Disney, with beloved Pixar director Andrew Stanton at the helm. The movie was his live-action debut, and it was him who pressed the Mouse House to secure the rights to Burroughs' series. As debuts in the format go, this was a complex one, with more than 2,000 visual effect shots being delivered by four different companies. Stanton claims he did not go over budget on the film, but he did admit that he reshot much of the movie twice. He attributed this to the fact he was used to animation, which provided more room to rework things at a later date. The original cut of the film was in the region of three hours, but the version that eventually hit cinemas was just over two. With a largely unknown leading man in Taylor Kitsch, a fairly anonymous title, Stanton had removed the suffix of Mars from the original moniker and a world seemingly redolent of other sci-fi properties. The movie was a tough ask for audiences. Critics were unimpressed, and Disney lost $200 million plus on the project. As well as being one of the most expensive movies ever, it's one of the biggest box office flops of all time. Number 5. Justice League – $300 million DC's follow-up to Batman vs Superman proved even more expensive and even more chaotic than its predecessor. Zack Snyder's ambitious movie was rewritten extensively during filming. There were reports that Warner Brothers executives were unhappy with the direction the film was taking, particularly in the wake of the adverse reaction to Batman vs Superman. Snyder stepped down from the project during the post-production phase following the death of his daughter and was replaced by Avengers director Joss Whedon. He was given an unprecedented $25 million budget for two months of reshoots, during which Superman actor Henry Cavill infamously still had his mustache grown for Mission Impossible Fallout. The mustache had to be painted out using CGI. Contradictory reports have suggested that Snyder might have been fired from the film rather than choosing to leave, and milliage varies on how much of Justice League was altered by Whedon's reshoots. The resulting movie proved to be a box office flop, making just $658 million worldwide 
leading to an estimated loss for Warner Brothers in the region of $60 million. Number 4. Avengers Infinity War $316 million The Marvel Cinematic Universe is one of the most ambitious exercises in cinematic spectacle ever mounted. As the first part of the franchise's monumental crescendo, Infinity War was a complex and pricey endeavor, culminating in the biggest battle sequence of the MCU at the time. Initially, Infinity War and the then-untitled sequel, which would ultimately become Endgame, were due to film simultaneously, but the movie eventually shot back-to-back. -back. The combined production was an endeavor of unprecedented size, with thousands of effect shots carried out by various production houses. It's also significant to note the huge salaries of the gargantuan ensemble cast, all of those A-listers can't have come cheap. Avengers Infinity War was, however, the safest of safe bets. The movie made $2.05 billion globally and still sits as the fifth highest grossing film of all time. The reviews from critics were ecstatic, the audience reactions were strong and there was a mouth-watering cliffhanger to keep fans on tender hooks until the follow-up a year later. Before revealing the remaining three most expensive movies, kindly show us some love by clicking on the subscribe icon below. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's continue. Number 3. Avengers Endgame $356 million If Infinity War was an ambitious spectacle, then its follow-up took everything to another level entirely. Endgame starts as something of an intimate drama about the survivors of a horrific event, but its three-hour running time spins off in all manner of directions to produce something that is unparalleled in terms of scale. Endgame contains more than 3,000 visual effect shots, contributed by around a dozen different companies, and also has the same uber-expensive roster of A-list actors that sent the cost of Infinity War soaring upwards. The climactic battle sequence crams in dozens of superpowered heroes, squaring off against Thanos and his alien army in explosive fashion. Extensive reshoots were carried out, including the emotionally potent I Am Iron Man moment and the fate of Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. The rest, as they say, is history. Avengers Endgame now stands as the highest grossing film of all time, with its $2.8 billion worldwide total smashing previous record holder Avatar. Also directed by Cameron, the consummate veteran of expensive movie making. Number 2. Avengers Age of Ultron $365 million Somewhat surprisingly, neither Infinity War nor Endgame takes the crown for being the most expensive film in the history of the MCU. That title goes to Josh Whedon's Age of Ultron, which proved to be a pricey endeavor as a result of chasing the immense success and approval which greeted the Avengers in 2012. Whedon's sequel was aimed to be bigger, bolder, and it inevitably contained even more heroes and villains than the team-up which came before. The shoot was a globe-trotting experience, taking to Italy, South Korea and Bangladesh, as well as America and the UK. More than 3,000 visual effect shots were constructed. Whedon has since said in interviews that he found the experience to be exhausting, saying it was weird and horrible at times, despite his pride in the finished movie. 
Age of Ultron made $1.4 billion at the global box office, handing Marvel and Disney another bona fide win. They spent big and got exactly the return they wanted. The critical reaction was more muted than for the Avengers, and few now count Ultron as among the best films in the MCU, but it justified its price tag as far as the executives were concerned. Number 1. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides $397 million Despite the very agreeable box office returns, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides was no cheap date. 2007 and 2006's Gore Verbinski directed Dead Man's Chest and At World's End cost millions, with On Stranger Tides landing a slot as the most expensive long shot, with Jack Sparrow and Barbosa's quest to find the elusive Fountain of Youth costing nearly $400 million. Regardless of the huge production costs, Depp's payment was an estimated $55 million. Well, hey, someone had to pay for that accessorizing, the box office busting Pirates of the Caribbean flicks that has been the most extraordinary cash cow for years now. Since the first time we saw Johnny Depp parading around with beaded dreads and guy liner in 2003, the Disney executives behind the franchise have been simultaneously wading around in gold up to their armpits. That's all on our video about the most expensive movies of all time. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Give us a like, share the video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.